are somewhat nerdy like I'm, I am a much better looking Snarf Chris, my partner in crime as always. Johnny Stash. Today we're taking a look at uh, DC Collectibles Power Ring Death Storm. And we'll have some follow up videos, reviews of Bizarro, Superwoman, Ultraman. So these will be about three videos coming up, all the DC Collectible. I'm burned. <laughs> nice. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> uh, $25 a piece. Uh, 20, $25 a piece. They came three weeks in a row. Well, we don't want to get hit like that with He-Man toys. They did the uh, the Owlman and the uh, Johnny Quick. Check out then, our reviews of that. And then the next week, these two came out. And then this past week, these three came out. So You're broke. Yeah. It's powdered milk for a while. Powdered milk for a while. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to jump right into them. Um, really cool. These two are some of the best in the line, I think. So This guy right Definitely here. Definitely him. Yeah. This guy right here. So we're going to jump right into it. Okay, everyone, here's the back of the box. It's pretty basic. They had the whole crime syndicate from Earth 3 on there and little profile pics of each character within a box. Turn it to the side here. We have some box art, some silhouettes of the different characters wearing the box. And, you know, in the front, we got DC Comics Super Villains. That's the, the subline of it. And on the other side, we have images of the toys themselves. Pretty basic. Almost every box comes like this, no matter if it's a different line of super villains or New 52, Justice League, whatever. They haven't changed the box much with as the lines gone by. Alright guys, now I have Death Storm and Power Ring. These toys, the way they look, is it's just phenomenal. I like it. I love them. They look fantastic. They look just like the comic. Um, Gonna break them down, you know, there is a lot of things that are awesome about these toys, but there's a lot of, you know, I've been noticing more and more as I get new 52 toys, there's things that are crappy about them too. So I'm gonna take Death Storm to the side right now and just get straight into Power Ring. The first thing I want to touch on is his lantern. This thing looks pretty dang cool. It's pretty evil looking and menacing, but that's all that it has to it is just some looks. The way it fits in his hand is, um, the Pretty much the bulkiest part of this handle is the part that goes into his hand. Now, it doesn't fit in there too great. You have to stretch his hand out a little bit to fit it in. And this thing right here, it's in three pieces. That comes loose. His bottom jaw, it closes up and down, but it totally comes off. What's the point in that? I have no clue. But the thing of the matter is... It doesn't really like to stay in there too much. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's like an insect bug type thing. You can open it up like a hot Almost Lego. an alien. Almost alien. I'm like Lego my ego or something, but... Xenomorph alien. Xenomorph. It probably would have been better just this whole thing being one single piece. What was the, what was the point? What was their decision into making it three pieces? Now getting in the figure itself... We got all the little green veins going up and down his arm. How the ring's taking over his body. It's pretty cool. Um, this one in particular, I got to choose from five different ones. So I chose the one that had the least uh, paint deficiencies in it. But I've been seeing a lot lately. And a lot of these new 52 toys, uh, a lot of mist paint application or loose joints or actually uh, joints in the packaging coming off. And if for some people who are buying these, um, who aren't going to a comic shop and getting the choice of the litter or getting to pick the best one that's there, if you're just buying these from DC Collectibles themselves or somewhere else off the internet, then you know you might get a lemon. So, if at all possible, you probably want to buy it from a comic shop. But going through the articulation, he has, you know, he has shoulder pivots at the bicep, elbow, his hands spin around, and a crank inside. Same thing for this one. Same thing on this arm. All that stuff. He's got an ab crunch. Turn his head. And up and down. Oh, that's pretty good. He's got a nice up and down. Um, on the waist, he does the splits like Van Damme. 
um, has a hip flexor right here, which I probably would have to loosen in. It's there. Um, he's got double jointed knees. Double jointed knees are bad to the bone. He's got pivot up and down on the foot, and he's got this new feature that I have not seen on any other toy but these new 52 toys. He has an ankle pivot that's like a 360 instead of a rocker. It's in his 360 form, just like that. We can get him in all kind of cool stances with his uh, lantern if you want. But I like to like have him standing up, you know, have his ring arm out in the floor, for, forefront. Like he's, ah, this is a pretty cool toy. Um, I noticed in some other other ones, there is some paint application problems on his insigma on his chest and around his mask on his face. So um, if you had to order one, you might that might be two of the most prominent problems that you come across. There are a few holidays around here on white on his boots. There's a little speck of green there and on his other boot as well. But beside that, this is a solid toy. I like it a lot, but I do not like it as much as I like this next toy. Right here, we have Death Storm. And there's not enough I, of awesomeness that I can say about this toy. I'll start off with the only complaint I have about him. Compared to all the other new 52 toys that I have, his uh, paint deco is pretty, pretty dark. Everyone else from all the Justice League, even uh, like Joker, uh, Captain Cold, Power Ring, and other uh, crime syndicate characters, Johnny Quick, they're all brightly colored. You know, except for Batman and now I know, but that goes without saying. But even more so compared to them, this guy is a very, very dark, dark, dark action figure. This red that they, crimson that they painted on him really doesn't go with any other character and it stands out on my shelf with 30 other New 52 characters. But if you look at his flames, there's translucent, you can see in there, and even in his face, his flames goes down into his eye sockets. And when light shines in there, it kind of looks like it's on fire. You know what, this would be so bad to the bone if they had put an LED light in his head and lit up. It probably would be my favorite toy of all time. But even the sculpt on his skull, the mandible, the jaw, it doesn't open and shut, but the sculpt on it, it's very, very detailed. He has a, it's creamish with some bright black uh, or gray tint to it. it really gives it a uh, deathly look. Now, I'm going to bring you to the articulation on this. I'm going to start from the bottom on this one. He has, you know, the feet rockers or pivot that goes 360 instead of a rocker. It does go up and down. Double joint knees, guys. Those are important. He's got the hip flexor right there. And he does the splits like Van Dam. We got an ab crunch. He'll twist at their waist. His arms go up and down. Bicep curl. His hands, they move, but his gauntlets kind of impede. Him from uh, twisting his hand open like this. His gauntlets impede that. His head turns side to side and up and down. But the coolest thing, what makes this toy super duper bad to the bone, is that they hidden the elbow joint and the bicep joint underneath his sleeve. Because uh, Firestorm or Deathstorm has these real belly sleeves. That's just part of the character. So instead of actually um, just putting it as his arm and bending it like they do every other toy they hit it right underneath there so that when you bend it you still get the belly effect within his sleeves when I first seen it he his arms were straight his arms were straight like this I was like man where are his joints and this is a cool looking toy but where are his joints and I got out and I just I took his hand and I went like that and I was oh my god <clears throat> so amazing what's so, it made out of Stuff. It's made out of stuff. Like, like a soft well, rubber? Yeah, it's just like a soft rubber, man. Um, I haven't seen any toy made with this type. 
It's uh, it's not as soft as I would say a snout spout from the Ma uh, Master Universe Classics. Not that soft, but it's not giving way. It's not gonna break on me. I'm bending it. I don't see any creases in it. It's durable. You know, it's made to be bent. That's, you know, look guys, look at that. I find that, you know, being pretty witty and pretty smart. That's one of the coolest action figures that Is it not, features dude? I've ever seen. Is it not? I mean, what about LED lighting? Yeah. Said that, I mean, I'd have, that'd have been fantastic. I just hope, you know, we got Death Storm now. I really hope that we get Firestorm. Please, let's have a Firestorm. If you uh, want to get any of these new 52 toys, this is one to get. This is an awesome, awesome toy. My fave so far. Oh, that's our review of Power Rink. Power Rink. Death Storm. Death Storm. The reason he does most of these reviews, I knew nothing about these toys. Not a bit. Nah, not at all. Uh, I'm not a DC reader. I haven't read DC. In... You know, this is going on a lot of DC groups, closed groups. We're gonna get hate mail now because of you. It's fine. I don't Thanks read DC. Can't help it. Even when I read comic books, I didn't read that deep much DC. Yeah. Green Lantern. I read a lot of Green Lantern. That's about it. That's what everyone reads. Or Batman. Can't help it. Anyway. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, awesome figure. I know nothing about this character. He gets to he gets to be awarded hands down best crime syndicate figure. I'm probably gonna buy this figure just based on the toy. I don't care about the character or anything. It's just a really cool toy. It is. It is super cool, dude. Like, I mean, either that or Swamp Thing. Because Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing was Swamp Thing. Cool but you, you gotta give Swamp Thing. Dude, he's a deluxe figure. He's got freaking wings and a crown. Um, but, cool figure. I do like that figure just because it's Green Lantern base S3, character. Yeah. yeah. He, he, I like, you know. It's, yeah, and it's, it's got like a cool sculpt to it. Torment, mm -hmm. you know, of Vic going through his body it's awesome Damn. I love how what they did with the character is he Hal Jordan yes he is Hal, Howard Hal, okay. Harold 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 Jordan okay he is so it's the same person yeah he is the same okay. person and what is the was the ring oh I've read the origin issue it's um it's some kind of like parasite okay that sticks on so it's not like the three man core no well I've been sore come to earth okay. and tricked him in it he had to willfully take the ring he couldn't just take the give ring off him. and give it to him he had to willfully take it and Avin Sor tricked him into taking it saying he would give him great power and the ring was going to give him power to not you know be a little limp anymore uh -huh. so and it got on him and it's kind of latched onto him and it's taken over yeah. and him Death Storm Death Storm is the combination of he is Professor Stein, and I want to say it's Ronnie Raymond that he combined with. And I want to say if Ronnie Raymond died, and his the essence of the dead Ronnie Raymond is still in the Death Star, and that's what makes him look like a skeleton. skeleton. So, but he he is totally Professor Stein and Psyche. Okay. Cool figures. So, really cool uh, figures. Really cool original new backstories to these crime syndicate toys from earth 3 um yes they're reminiscent of the old crime syndicate but there's new take new yeah. takes just like that whole purpose of the new 52 is just to freshen everything up and it in my opinion is doing a great job sure the new 52 still has a lot of people that don't that hate it want to go back to the underwear on the outside <laughs> but you know i we're about two years in yeah. maybe three years in now I think it's superb. I'm enjoying it. And I'm sure it's good. It's it's better than anything Marvel has. Anything that Marvel has. Poor yeah. Marvel. Hope you enjoy our review. Hope you enjoy our review. We have some people. We got some more coming up. We're going to have. We're going to have Ultraman and Power Woman soon. And, and Bizarro, Bizarro after Bizarro. that. Yeah. So uh, make sure you check them back and we'll get all yeah. reviews up. Let's uh, do some plugs. Uh, follow us, obviously. Facebook, Twitter. Tweet these nuts, bitch. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's fun. It's free subscription. Give us a big thumbs up. Uh, Ding. Follow everybody else in the uh, somewhat nerdy family. Uh, Ben's 80s horror page. He's got a new horror page. It's new horror new page. Horror page. Um, links to that. Uh, his Star Wars page. Roz's. Roz's Midnight Macabre. And uh, for you guys that 
that this might be your first review of ours, go to Raza's Midnight Macabre and tell him to watch the Evil Dead remake because guys have never seen it. It's just mostly the mess with him, so go do that. Uh, links to his in the bottom. Uh, Durst Durst Domain, uh, Critters Social Virus. Uh, links to everybody in the page and Rob, and a special shout out to Joe, Joe Nerd, Nerd. Uh, for giving us a shout out on his video. Ho, 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 and, ho, 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 uh, ho. Really appreciate it. And, uh, we'll continue to do the good videos, man. We like them. So and remember, stay classy, San Diego. Mama said alligators are only because they had all on teeth, no toothbrush. <laughs>